Part of the reason why I'm doing this video is to show how the stock cooling system works on the newer YXZs. You have this radiator cover here. You have your, your intake for the radiator there. You might think this is an exhaust. This is also an intake. And then your intake's here as well. Okay. The reason for this is in Yamaha's testing with a no windshield versus a front windshield, there were pressure differences. And so if your OIXE was configured one way, um, it could block cooling off. So they provided multiple avenues of cooling so it wouldn't be choked off. Now, guys with a front windshield, not the OEM, they were having problems, you know, speeds of 60 miles per hour plus overheating. Not a common occurrence for some guys. Others, it, that's all they do. But I'm gonna pull these pieces off and explain it a little further. So if we take the radiator cover off, I've removed these channels. These, uh, these normally go right here. And I've never heard anybody mention this. This is in the middle of the radiator. And there's a reason for that. So you have the front cooling, which is this section. And then you have the rear cooling, which is this section. And you'll see it better when I take this rear deck off. Move this piece here. So these, these side pieces will, prov will provide cooling no matter what. But this, it's a compromise. Let me pull this off. So if you ever have to take your rear deck apart, anybody who's done it before knows how difficult this last piece is to get out. Guys have been cutting this down the center to make it easy, and then you don't need to do that. I'll show you the modifications I've made. So these tabs right here are overkill. Normally I like overkill, but in this situation it's unnecessary. Basically trim these tabs. There's two that go up and down and then one that goes out to the side here. I trim these down to make this easier to remove. And then I cut off the corner here. So I'll show you that up close. So you have that tab there, which I've trimmed off and then kind of rounded the corners. And this tab here, you can see how far it sticks out. It's really not necessary to have these tabs out. You have a bolt right there. And this, is, this really isn't going anywhere. And then lastly, there's a corner here that sticks out. I trim that. And that makes this bottom piece so easy to remove. So first time you have to remove this, trim those tabs, and if you have to ever do it again, it'll make your life a lot easier. And removing these plastics is pretty easy. There's a lot of bolts here but they're easy to get to, and if you have a power wrench, you can get this off in like five minutes. This back in. So, remember there's a divider here. So there's intake cooling here, and there's intake cooling coming in from the front. And, if for some reason there was a low pressure here that it couldn't suck in the air, 
it pulls it from the back. Vice versa, if it can't suck in from the back, it sucks in from the front. But it's not optimal. Now the fans pull the fans pull it in air down. Okay. You notice all the racers. They this is open, and they have the air sucking out this way, and that's ideal. Um, we really can't do that normally because that'll blow a hole of hot air in the cab, which Yamaha doesn't want. But for us guys in the winter, we want that because it's free heat. Those of you in the R-Max Wolverine groups know Massive Overkill's cheapy heat. Well, YXZ has cheapy heat already built in. You just have to do minor modifications. I've reversed my fans to get that heat. And I'm gonna do this full time. And I'll explain later why I can do that during the summer. Guys that are doing the full time for the summer, they just remove this and the heat doesn't migrate into the cab. It just goes straight up. But what some guys don't realize is that this divider here that I've cut out, you're only getting half the heat. This goes right here. So half your heat is going out this way. So when you remove this divider, all your heat will go that way with one caveat. That could block off this channel. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'm getting 30 degrees cooler temperatures with this configuration. In the summertime, the only thing I have to do is, you know, leave my shroud off and it'll blow the air upwards. Now it looks ugly because if you don't have the storage box, you see the radiator. Some guys don't care about that. There's ways around that that I'll go over. So what I've done here is I've taken some rubber channel and blocking off this rear path. So that way when my fans are versed, it's blowing hot air out. It's not blowing out the back. I'm capturing all this heat. And by modifying my radiator shroud for moving that divider, you know, normally you only get this portion of the radiator providing heat. The other heat's blowing out the back. Now with that divider removed, I'm getting all the heat from the radiator from the center. You're obviously losing it from here because you're not capturing this. But for the winter, you remove that divider, you're gonna double your heat into the cab. Just to illustrate even further, so right there is where that divider, this piece, is normally that I cut out. You're only capturing heat from this point forward on the radiator. The rest of the heat is going out the back. So by the, removing that divider, you're capturing all this more heat versus just this. Okay, now for a cooling configuration, when you have your fans reversed, all your air is being sucked out one end and you get that Venturi effect versus half your air going this way and half your air going that way. So if you own the stock Yamaha cargo box, probably even if you own the Tesseract and you remove your shroud, this is the angle you'd have to come at to know there's any difference. So with the shroud removed, in the summertime, all this heat should go up. If you want to, you could line this with plastic so the heat goes up and doesn't come into the cab. But if you're reversing your fans and you want to keep your fans reversed even during the summer, remove your radiator shroud, you'll get a lot more consistent cooling and airflow. Just a back shot of uh, my rubber block off. Blocks off both sides of the channel. So final thought. If you reverse your fans, you remove that channel in the stock shroud and block off the channel going back here, you're blocking all heat.
from going under your cargo box and this will stay a lot cooler. You have the shroud to deflect heat this way. You could put some heat insulation here, but you're, not, you're gonna notice from here back in the summertime, if you use this as a cooler, it's gonna run a lot cooler because there's no heat going underneath it. It's been blocked off.